This week on Jimbo Vision, it's sisters. Well, what else would it be? Nothing else out, is there? Sisters is the new comedy from longtime friends and funsters Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, sort of Fey and Poehler Express, a Christmas comedy with a twist. It's actually funny and it's not about Christmas. So, a comedy then. Here anyway, the pair who've done everything from the Golden Globes to Saturday Night Live team up with another former 30 Rock, Bridesmaids and SNL scribe Paula Pell to deliver the tale of the two Ellis sisters, the overly responsible Maura and the overly irresponsible Kate who are called back to their childhood home to clear out their bedrooms because their parents are putting the old place on the market. It soon emerges though that the pair have more to get rid of than just old Michael J. Fox posters. Neither is particularly happy with the way that their lives have turned out, so they decide to hold one last high school party in the old place. This very much in keeping with Hollywood's long-held belief, as seen in movies like 17 Again, Old School and about a billion others, that there's no adult issue that can't be sorted out by acting like a teenager again. Sort of Hollywood Therapy 101. Who needs Freud when you can act young? The result, anyway, is a Laughs and Lasses classic, a female take on the whole adults who should know better comedy genre. Faye and Perla going after the gags like a pair of attack hounds. Everything from Korean names, done very sensitively, to anal insertion, done very insensitively, to jokes about men working on their bushes. I was dirtier than I thought. I'm sorry. But I got dirty really fast. Hmm. That's Ike Barinholtz uh, taking time out from being the missing Wahlberg brother to play a neighbor who soon becomes the butt of a very nasty joke. Also on board are John Leguizamo, surely this generation's Kevin Bacon, Diane West and James Brolin as these still frisky parents, top wrestler John Cena sporting the scariest tattoos since Fantasy Island, and Maya Rudolph, you know, out of Bridesmaids. Aside from The Iron Lady, another movie about a destructive party with a woman in it and an 80s soundtrack, Bridesmaids is the obvious reference point for this film, but I'd say The Sisters is about twice as funny. There's not really a bum moment in it, apart from, you know, that one. And while the humour is often very adult, it's all handled with a deftness of touch and a charm that's often missing from the likes of, say, Judd Apatow's films. I guess the girls just know better where to draw the line, which in the case of this film is actually on the wall in a very rude shape indeed. All in all then, this is a movie that passes the Bechdel test with flying colours. Probably the best film about Sister since The Sound of Music and a very welcome addition to the Christmas film schedules. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. These two misses have certainly made a hit. <laughs>